every sequence has a built-in method called triggered, okay, and, and we can use this to define an endpoint of a sequence. Okay, so this sequence method called trigger returns true at wherever the sequence ends, and that depends, of course, on what its clock is. So here we have sequence S1, which is A followed by B. So S1 dot triggered will be true in any cycle where that sequence has just completed. It will be true until the next time we evaluate that sequence, which will be the next positive clock. So if we have A and B high all the time, of course, then what that means is that well, sequence dot triggered will be true for every cycle. And we can use that in a variety of places. We can use it in a, an assert. So we can say if we've got a rose A, then from the, ne the next cycle, EP2 must have triggered. And what this means here, of course, is that uh, sequence EP2 is, is lasting for one, two, three cycles, four cycles, in fact, we've got another cycle here. We would have had to evaluate at EP2 before this property became enabled. Okay, so we're looking back in time by doing this similar to how the dollar past function works. We're, we're looking at something which happened before the property actually got enabled. So clearly we're always having to monitor what EP2 is doing to know whether in this cycle triggered is true or not. So we can use it in an assertion as we've seen there. So remember that it's just a Boolean. It's, it, that, that's all it is, the, the dot triggered returns a Boolean. We can use it in the disable IFF clause as well. And we can use it in normal procedural code in our test bench. So we can wait until some particular sequence is finished, for example. There's also another well, other sequence methods. So one of them is called matched, and this allows us to synchronize sequences with different clocks. So I'd, I'd, I'd refer you to the language reference manual. Uh, I've, I've never seen a practical use for this, so we're not going to discuss it further. So here's a, an, an example showing here just to show you the difference to, between an endpoint and the sequence itself. So this is the sequence here, reset followed by not reset consecutive for two cycles, followed by reset again. And we've got two properties here, one of which uses the sequence name, one of which uses the triggered function. Okay, so for this the sequence here, um, for for the, the this one here, this has to look at the reset sequence before we're looking for A, because the reset sequence is four cycles long here. Okay, so clearly we need to be have looking at the sequence before we observe A in order to know whether it is triggered or not. It's not the case of this one, however. Okay, so they've got completely different behaviors. Okay, so here we've got, um, this is our cycle here where RST starts. Okay, so RST is this sequence here. So reset true and then it not being not true for two cycles and then it being true. So the reset sequence starts at one, cycle one finishes at cycle four okay so that's when the rst triggered comes in cycle four until the next cycle where it is no longer true so if we are a occurring and we have the rst triggered the next cycle followed by b then c has to be true in this cycle so this this property here ep seek this starts in this cycle cycle three that's when it becomes enabled it passes in cycle six. However, we had to have been looking at the reset signal all the way back at cycle one in order to know that it passed. Okay. So we're having to evaluate RST triggered every cycle, basically, regardless of whether this property evaluation is underway or not. So the question being asked is when does the seek enabling sequence become incomplete? So this is this property here. So if you look at the evaluation of this property, we've got A occurring, so that cycle there, followed by this uh, sequence RST, so reset high, so we're continuing evaluation of the property cycle four. Cycle five, we're not seeing not reset. We don't see not reset. So therefore, the evaluation starts at cycle three because A occurs, but it ends at cycle five because we don't observe this sequence continuing because reset is true instead of false.